Hmm. Let's upload the video on YouTube. Let me check the file size. Okay, let compress it. A few moments later. Okay, now what's the file size? Whoa! Really good compression. If you also want to know how I compress, then watch this video till the end. Hello there, my name is Suraj Mishra and you are watching Distro Mishra. In this video, we will talk about what is video compression and why we need it and how to compress a video. Basically, video is like a capsule which contains a lot of information inside it. As you know, video consists of a lot of images. If you talk about 30 frames per second, then it means that 30 images will be shown in one second in the video. So, depend upon how images are combined and the audio format. These videos are of different formats like FLB, MKV and PV. So video compression can be done in two different ways which include lossless and lossy video compression also known as intra-frame and inter-frame video compression. As the name suggests lossless or intra-frame, no data is lost. In this bit by bit all the images are compressed. But this type of compression takes a lot of time and also not very effective. Now comes lossy or inter-frame video compression. In this, make pixels which are common in different images or frames of the video are removed. This highly reduces the overall video size. I wanna thanks Technical Guruji as I had taken a part of knowledge from his video. So I think you got the idea about what is video compression. But the question comes, why we need it? As we have seen, when we shoot a video, the video size is too big. And if we try to upload it, it can easily take up to 3 to 4 hours. And also, if you have a small disk size like that of mine, you should be concerned about video compression. Now let me directly jump into how we can compress. There are many tools, free and paid, to do this job. Filmmakers mostly use paid tool to compress their movies. But if job can be done with a free tool, then why we need to waste our money? So the magic tool that we're gonna use is VLC Media Player. Yes, it is the best free tool that we can use. Just open VLC Media Player. Go to media in the top left corner. Click on convert and save. Now here open a window. So you need to add a video. Click on add. Select your video. I will select a small video for the demo. After that just click on convert and save. Now in this window you can see the path of your video. In this, you need to select a destination path. Select it and click save. You can also mess up with settings, but I will keep it as it is for the simplicity of this video. You can export your video in different format as listed here. But according to me, you must export in H.264 MP4 format. It is good compression and less time consuming. You can also use H.265 MP4 format, but it takes double time as compared to H.264 MP4. But its plus point is it's highly compressed the video. At the bottom, you will see option for YouTube HD. But if you export in this format, your video will not going to upload. It will say the file format doesn't support. But if you just want to save the video in your computer, then this is also a good option. Here I will select H.264 MP4 and click start. It will take a good amount of time if your video is long, so be patient. There is one problem occur at the end of export, so watch this video till the end. Between this, I want to say that if you want me to make such videos more or want me to support, then please subscribe my channel. The reason behind making this channel is that all the things that I had learned, I can share it with you. So to rank this video on the top, like this video and comment down whether you like it or not. Now here we can see two options, overwrite and exit. If you click on exit, it will not exit. So what you have to do that, come to the destination of the export video 
and cut paste it to new location. And then coming back to VLC and click on override and then close the VLC window. Here you can see video is overwritten. So delete it. Here we got the compressed video. So if you are facing any other problem, then comment down below. I will try to make a video on that.